All right, real quick ministry update here. I'm going to be talking about three different things in this video. First off is my back. How's my back doing? A lot of people have been praying. A lot of people have been asking, how are you doing, Brother Brian? Um, thankfully, I am healing um, pretty good. Uh, still have some pain, but uh, a lot of the swelling has gone down. Um, I've been doing a lot of nutrition, a lot of suggestions people made. I've been taking, you know, there's a plow truck right there going. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Uh, they're very loud uh, but uh, anyhow if you're from the south um, but uh, been taking a lot of you know people's advice on it and everything else so my back is healing quite well um, I'm going to show a picture here of my back just to show how bad it was it's gotten better since then but this was about two nights after my initial fall which was two Tuesdays ago so um, it's not a bad picture or anything. I can show this in terms, you can see the bruising. Here it is. And uh, that was, that bruising went from a little bit above my belt line the whole way down to above my left knee. On the left side it was worse and on the right side it wasn't quite as bad, but just real dark purple like that. So yeah, it's a pretty bad injury. I do have some swelling yet right around the base of my spine, so uh, a little scary with that, but uh, hopefully everything will be okay. Um, I can move around a lot better now, so thankfully that's uh, improved. Um, the second item, a lot of people you may or may not know about my wife wanting to get into the Linux uh, computer system, and uh, she has been slowly educating herself on uh, what to build and whatever else. So. She's been buying the components of her computer. She has everything now except for the power supply unit. And so she's still researching that, um, what to use, the right thing that would work for her system and whatever else. So power supply unit is all, all that she needs right now. And then once she has that, then she'll put the computer together. She already has some of the work done and whatever, but she has you know, the monitors, the keyboard, um, all the different stuff that she she needs for the computer except for the power supply unit um, So just if you're praying for her, please just pray the Lord gives her wisdom for what she needs to do to uh, switch over from Windows over to the Linux system and then the third item that I want to talk about here really quickly is another one of my videos got taken down by YouTube and uh, it is the global elites have started a hot war against us. They took that one down. Uh, just I'll show you the, the thing here. And I, of course, oh, I can appeal it. Yeah, right. Um, it wouldn't matter if I did. They don't care. And uh, But I just want to put this out there um, for the people of YouTube. I realize that the YouTube administration is not watching this video. More than likely, they have much better things to do. Bigger fishes to fry, as they say. But... Um, you're censoring a preacher. Um, and when the Lord gives me sermons, I, I mean, with preachers, there are some things I can say uh, that are my thoughts, my thinking on something, my opinion. But when you're censoring things that come from the scriptures and are uh, prophesying future events according to the scriptures, uh, that's real dangerous to get into. And... Um, you know, it's one of the greatest proofs of guilt, in my opinion, is the fact that there has been so much censorship. Uh, anything that goes against what you once said, and all we have to take that down now and whatever else, you will answer for that. Okay, you will answer for those things when you stand before God. And I know that the YouTube people don't believe in God, but you will one day. And um, you would do well just to let people like myself just leave the preachers alone. All right? Um, God's judgment is coming on this nation and on people that uh, censor speech from preachers. So um, that video that was taken off of YouTube is, I'm just right now finishing uploading it to my Rumble account. So if you want to see that, if you say, I don't know if I've ever seen that one. Um, what's it about? What did you say that made them so upset and whatever? Well, you can go over to Rumble and uh, I'll put the link down in the description box. And uh, because they allow it over there, but YouTube doesn't allow it here. So, but um, 
so that should be it. Sounds like plow truck coming back through. Here he comes. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm glad for plow trucks in terms of at least them plowing the snow off the road. I'm not really happy for the salt that they put on the road that rusts our vehicles prematurely. But uh, uh, that's a, one of the things about living on the East Coast. We get a lot of you know, road salt put here and then it destroys our vehicles in a few years. Not very smart. But uh, I have one more little announcement here. I have been working on notes for about, I'd say, seven or eight different studies right now. Um, research and then writing the sermon notes and everything else. So I have a number of big ideas, big sermons that are going to be coming out, um, covering a, a wide range of topics. Some health stuff, some, you know, just different different things. Preaching, people, answering people's questions that I've had for a while. I've been putting that off just because I need to do the research. So a lot of things I'm doing right now. Um, but it's been tricky with my back, you know, and things. I'm not really sleeping that great at night um, because of the pain of laying there. And you have to move every hour or two. You have to continually be moving to for the pain thing. But um, So big studies coming up. Uh, you can watch the channel for those. And um, so anyhow, thank you to everybody out there for your suggestions on my back issue. It, it is improving. A lot of the bruising is going away now. Most of the swelling is down, um, getting back to close to being back to normal again in terms of being able to do things and, and whatever else. Um, so uh, if you're from a northern area, please watch out for the ice. Uh, don't uh, be foolish like I was and just think, well, I can walk, I'll be fine. Uh, not a good idea. Um, so we'll see you in future videos. And um, there he goes again. There goes the plow truck. Uh, but uh, see you in future videos, and thank you very much for watching. And please do keep us in your prayers.